the first thing we are going to talk about is Foxia and the little bit of a storm that has arisen around the release of the Digisite 3 for HD0. If you don't know the background of this, the Digisite 3 was released for DJI. And then there was another version released for HD0 shortly afterwards, and everyone got really excited. However, they've come out with a bit of a statement, and it's caused a bit of a crap storm, to say the least. So what I'm going to do is hop over to the desktop to show you guys, and statement that they have put out on the HD0 side saying, basically, that there is an issue with the firmware on some of the cameras they've shipped, or at least all of the cameras before a certain date, which is the 27th of November to the 8th of November. And what they're doing is saying is they're going to reach out to people who ordered these cameras because there is an issue. The wrong firmware has been installed and it gives a green blue tint to the footage. Now, we'll take a look at some of the footage in a minute to try and understand what they're actually saying here or what we're seeing. Um, but they're giving people some options, and the options are send your camera back, which is use the cheapest post and mark it for them. And as soon as you've done it, they'll give you a, a coupon for compensation, which means you can order another one. Or they'll send you the right version of the camera. So they'll basically either use the cheapest post, send it back and mark your order, and they'll refund. Show us the freight by email, and they'll give you a compensation coupon. Make a photo of the goods, tracking by email, and they'll send the right version of the camera in three days. So they're not waiting for the original to camera to go back. As long as you've taken a picture of it and stuffed it in the post, they'll then ship you a new camera. Um, if you accept the camera, so you keep the camera, they will give you a coupon for $25. Um, in compensation, allowing you to buy the new one, whatever it costs moving forward. So they've given people some options on this. However, it hasn't gone down well. And, and some people have complained about the fact that people are having to pay to send their camera back to get it replaced. Um, I get that. There is an argument to be said that if they know the firmware is wrong, then they should just send you another camera. Let's be realistic on this. Having the old one back isn't 100% necessary to fix the problem. Let's be honest. You know, at the end of the day, you can't flash the firmware on these. Um, you can't fix it in HD0, so the camera has to be replaced. So there has been some complaints that Foxy are making you return the camera rather than them just ship you a replacement. It's more that they don't want you to keep the broken one you know, if you think it's going to be a quid or two, isn't it? Or a dollar or two. Because the price of the camera is 49 to 57 So if we went for a, a red standard, no cable, it's $49. So you're going to get a second one for half price. So it isn't terrible. It isn't, you know, you're going to get... If you wanted a prop one and have a spare camera that you're not particularly worried about the colours on, you can get another one for $25. But I do understand why there's been a lot of noise over this. I'm not going to sit here and say I think they've been perfect because they haven't. There has been quite a few arguments on this on the HD Zero website with one user uh, suggesting that Foxy should be banned from the HD Zero Facebook page and look I've let my comments be well known on that and I think it's a stupid idea frankly um, but I'm not saying Fox here are not without um, fault here I've been looking through the footage and I'll be honest I can't see anything terrible if I'm honest you know I, you know here's some footage here of it from Raya uh, Anthony Riviere, who's he's one of the you know he's a good guy is Anthony and he posts a lot on there and okay it's a bit oversaturated but it's not terrible uh, you know I'm not going to sit here and say it's shocking and I do wonder if that's why they're not instantly just sending people out cameras because it's it's not shocking it's not perfect or what they would want it to be 
but it certainly isn't unusable and certainly isn't terrible. And actually, many people were talking and saying, this camera looks good. I don't see a problem with it. It does. It is said that it is playing up in bright conditions. It looks worse in very, very bright sunshine. And I, I don't think there's bright, bright sunshine here on this day. It does. There's a bit of cloud in the sky, so it's not blasting sunshine. Um... But it is clear that they've got an issue, you know. But a, a few people have bought them. This one does look weir worse. You know, if you look at this, you can see it on this footage. This one does look... There's definitely a green tinge to it. Definitely a green tinge to it. More green than blue. But again, I'll be honest. I I wouldn't be completely unhappy with that for an FPV camera. It's not great but it's certainly not terrible. So I think it comes down to how each person would interpret what they expect to do and how you expect a company to handle it. And I'm interested in what you guys think. You know, you tell me in the chat, do you think they've handled it well? Carl has commented on it and Carl has been very magnanimous and, and said, look, if we're going to start counting mistakes, HD zero are going to be at the top of the list, you know, and it was a very good comment from Carl. And, yeah, you know, I get people are unhappy. I get that. But I think to ask them to be banned is ridiculous. You know, my posts are on there. I, I, To be honest, the guy who said they should be banned, I said it's bloody ridiculous. It's a stupid idea. You know, if they were selling time, if this happens five times, six times, then I think you've got to start putting warnings out there. But at the end of the day, it isn't a HD Zero endorsed product. It isn't manufactured by HD Zero. It's a third party compatible product for the HD Zero system. And um, I don't really see a massive reason um, to 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 go too extreme. But look, they've held their hands up, and and that's great. And at the end of the day, you know, look, I'll be blunt: this should not have happened, and their quality control should have picked this up before it left the door. It isn't good enough. That is thing. But let's not pretend this is DOA units or units that don't work properly. This is a color science issue, which is somewhat correctable in post anyway. And I, I think that is why they've gone down the route they have. And I think that's why they're sort of saying, if you want to keep the camera, we'll give you half price back. Or if you want to send it back, pay the ship in at the end of the day. It it it's it's it is what it is. It is what it is. It's certainly not the worst thing in the world. And I'm actually surprised at the amount of noise there's been on this. You know, we've seen a lot worse. Um, it, I've seen a lot worse things out there. So yeah, it is what it is. So that's the situation. They are. If you've got one and and you don't like it, reach out to them. What I would probably do is I take the $25 and order another one. That's what I do and take a repaired one and have two. There's been a shortage of cameras. Why would you not want two? That way you've got a spare lens, you've got to spare everything just in case you need one. And even if you haven't got a drone, you can to put it in, you can you can at least have a spare camera, spare lens, and you're up and running if you break something. So, you know, th th there are options here.